Um, I guess so. This is an example um, which is focusing um, on a uh, best distillation. Uh, you can find this question on Blackboard under practice questions for batch distillation. So the problem statement is saying that um, we have a mixture con uh, of 100 kilomoles which contains 60% and pentane and 40% and heptane. And then this mixture is vaporized um, uh, to this pressure under differential conditions up until we have collected uh, 40 kilomoles of the initial feed. So, um, the, um, analyzing this, uh, pro these statements, uh, so first thing, uh, you can try to deduce uh, which one is the, uh, more volatile and which one is the least volatile component. Uh, in this case, since uh, both pentane and heptane uh, uh, fall under the alkane functional group, um, uh, you just look at the length of the molecule uh, since uh, uh, for alkanes the intermolecular force strength uh, is dependent on the size of the molecule uh, so heptane it's longer than pentane so it means heptane has stronger van der Waal forces as compared to pentane hence and pentane will be the the more volatile component but in this case, they are they give a letter, so it's a giveaway also to indicate that uh, the molecule of interest is n pentane. So moving on to uh, the second line, uh, differential conditions. Uh, it's basically stating that um, uh, this is not a steady state process. So uh, this accumulation, unlike a normal distillation where we don't have accumulation. Uh, even though the column has some liquid retained inside, the input and output are always equal, uh, unlike a batch columns. So the question is asking us to determine the average composition of the total vapor that is distilled, and also the composition of the liquid left. Um, by average composition, this is because uh, distillation columns, they work in steps. Basically, we pour the mixture into the column and then apply some energy into the column and then uh, after some time we collect the the vapor in intervals so hence we have average composition instead of normal compositions because we don't collect the vapor uh, all of it uh, in one um, in one se se session we collect them in successions and then we just find the average composition of of all. Maybe we collected five times, then we just find the compositions of the five samples that we've collected over maybe two hours, and then we find their average.